Hey guys, happy Saturday. So I am just gonna go out and do a few little errands today. Today is actually National Candle Day and Bath and Body Works is actually having a sale. $9.50 for their three wick candles. But I think I'm gonna be really good and not buy any. It's very tempting, but I still have candles from like the year before <laughs> that I haven't used up and I was actually really good. I didn't buy any candles this year, I believe. No, I didn't. I don't think I bought any last year. So I don't know, I'm still determined just to use up the ones that I have, have more of a minimalistic approach, even though it's very, very tempting and very hard, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually determined not to spend any more money the end of, until the, you know, until next year, so for this whole rest of the year, so we'll see. Um, just on necessities like food and bills and stuff like that. Don't have really any Christmas presents to buy. Maybe just like a little uh, Secret Santa thing at work or something. But anyway, so I'm just making my coffee here. This is from my coffee maker. I still have an old school coffee maker because I like to have my coffee taste a little bit stronger. So I don't have like a Keurig, I don't know. To me, the coffee comes out too weak, and I like to make mine taste like coffee. Like, I like French roast or dark roast coffee, so I like my coffee to smell like coffee. So, I can actually make it stronger in here. And then I just add some creamer. I don't use sugar. And I actually love this little travel mug. It keeps your coffee nice and warm for a long time. It's by, I don't know, Sarushi. It's a Japanese company, but I love it. I'm gonna be on my way and do some errands. I'm just gonna go to Trader Joe's. I have some coworkers coming over tomorrow, just like a little Christmas get together type of thing and i um, just gonna go shopping for that might go to the Gucci store just for a little have to pick up maybe something but not for me <laughs> um, and I don't know that's it so we'll see oh and I might buy a Christmas tree today maybe we'll see all right this here's my outfit of the day just very simple simple black turtleneck along with this jacket it's a nice fall jacket from chic wish and i like that it's shorter in the front and then it's kind of tapered so it's longer on the sides and then a little shorter in the back and i'm wearing these jeans which are from american eagle and then just my black the all black Louis Vuitton Star Trail boots, and I'm wearing my Gucci wallet on chain, so nothing special today. Don't even have any makeup on, so yes, I'm out here looking crazy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I just want to do these errands and hurry up and get back home and um, do what I have to do to get ready for tomorrow. Alright, so I kind of lied. <laughs> I'm passing by here, and of course I have to go in here. Uh, I actually like this one better because it's smaller, it's not in the mall, I don't have to deal with all that mall madness, craziness, uh, trying to find a parking space and stuff. So, we'll see what they have in here. There's just a new candle that I wanted to smell. Obviously, I can't smell it uh, online, so that's why I'm coming. Let's see what's going on. The line it starts here and it wraps all the way around and all the way around there. Uh, there is no way I'm standing in this line, so 
Another reason why I am not buying crap <laughs> today. And I don't need to buy any candles anymore. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is literally why I will not buy a new car. Like, it's so ridiculous. I get hit all of the time. So today, I notice I get out of my car and look at this. Like, this is new. Like, I don't even know where this is. Obviously, most likely at work. But, I mean, look at that. The whole thing. All the way up to here. Wow. I actually don't even trip off of this car getting hit anymore. But it's literally the reason why I would not buy a new car. Like, this constantly happens. So, that's new. Um, this whole thing is totally new. Now my bumper is even, like, hanging off a little bit right there. And, like, why am I going to buy a new car for people to constantly do this? Like, I don't even have any words, but... Like I said, it, it literally doesn't even phase me anymore. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm in the Trader Joe's parking lot. Uh, just going to pick up some stuff here. I did go to the Bath and Body Works standalone store, not the one in the mall. Because this one is less crowded. But um, I said I wasn't buying any candles, but I really wanted to smell this one, this new one and they actually didn't even have it so <laughs> that's all good but anyway the line was an hour and a half just to pay just to pay and I don't have that kind of time I if I was buying something I would rather just pay the $5.99 or basically six dollars to ship it online that would be totally worth it for me like my husband says time is money and everybody has a different schedule like I just don't have that much time off so I don't want to stand in line for an hour and a half like I could be doing so many other things or going so many other places and so that's just my rationale uh, yeah so I'm just not gonna do that but anyway yes you guys saw that I got a new Christmas present on my bumper um, somebody left me a present obviously yesterday at work I just noticed it this morning and I'm always getting scratches and dents and somebody hitting this car. So that's the reason why I just won't buy a new car. <laughs> Even though this one is pretty banged up. It's a 2006. It's basically 2020. So that's basically a 14 year old car. Nothing wrong with this car. The way that it runs, it actually runs very smoothly. And I don't even have 100,000 miles on it, which is almost unheard of for a 14 year old car. So why am I gonna buy a new car, take it to work, and then I'd be really irritated if somebody just kept hitting it and scratching it and denting it like this. So I don't know. I could buy another one just to go around like when I'm not working or on the weekends and stuff like that. But I kind of like not having a car payment and then I'd still have to pay obviously this one is paid off but I still have to pay for the new one and then I'd have to pay insurance and stuff on this one so I don't know I mean like what's the point so if you see me around LA and I'm driving in this old beat-up car that's the reason why I don't even care and yeah it's all good so let me go in here and do my stuff I need to go in here get some stuff for my little party or a little get together tomorrow. It's just about four people from work getting together for Christmas and catching up. And then I might go to Costco, try to get a Christmas tree and some wine. And um, yeah, so that's basically it. The other thing is, yes, I'm totally done with my freaking job. I'm just through with them. <sighs> Definitely gonna be job searching for another job. Um, they're making me work on New Year's not even at my normal location so yeah I'm just done like I'm just through these employers out here these days just literally don't care about their employees and I just think that's really rude um, it would be different if it was at my same place like but anyway it's a different place and and that's just foul to me so 
um, I'm just done like that's actually good because that's the thing that literally pushed me over the edge this year and I just can't take anymore so anyway guys uh, let me get in here let me stop blabbering and I'll see you guys in a little while so here's my Trader Joe's haul <laughs> looks like mostly a bunch of flowers but anyway I only got some Oh, I forgot the crackers. How did I forget that? <laughs> I gotta go back. Anyway, I just got some wine and salami and cheese. And I forgot the crackers. So now I gotta go back. <laughs> Crazy. And that's all I got. These poinsettias and some flowers. <sighs> At least I didn't leave. <laughs> So, I'm going to go back in and get the crackers. Here at Costco getting my tree. So, I'm going to pick it out and they're going to load it up for me. It's only $38. So basically $34.99 with the tax. It comes out to $38.49. So I'm all good with that. So trying to get it before it starts raining because we're not trying to uh, take a wet Christmas tree inside the house, right? Yeah. The Lakers all the way. Always. There she is up there. They're going to tie it up for me. Hopefully it doesn't start raining. Cause, yeah, we don't want a wet Christmas tree. <laughs> Thought I felt a few sprinkles, but anyway. Yeah. He asked me if I was a Laker fan. Of course. Only Laker fan. Of course. I'm all about Lakers only. I'm old school, so I'm all Laker fans. And that's it. Nothing else. No Clippers, just the Lakers. Roof of my car. As you can see, my tree has slid all the way over to the right side of my car. And it's like at the very end of my car. So I hope it doesn't slide off. <laughs> so I'm going to drive really slow. I have about five more minutes before I get home. So just pray for me. <laughs> uh -oh. Up on the housetop, reindeer paws Out jumps good old Santa Claus Down through the chimney with lots of toys All for the little one's Christmas joys Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up is a mess so I did go and get my one little Gucci item not for me but for somebody else I got my Christmas tree over here it looks so skinny <laughs> all wrapped up so hopefully it's not too skinny but I did want a slimmer one this year and hubby was nice enough to get all of my Christmas stuff down so well, let's see what we have it's only four bins of stuff or boxes so my husband thinks that's a lot but I know people have so much more than I do anyway let's see what we have in here and let's get to decorating these are my poinsettias that I purchased from Trader Joe's earlier so we'll see where those are gonna go all right, I'm gonna try to attempt to put up this Christmas tree. Last year, I tried to do it all by myself. Ken wasn't here with me, and it was an epic fail. It turned out totally crooked. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, look how crooked it is from this angle. Oh my god, it's crazy. Okay, yeah, definitely have to fix that. <laughs> but I gotta wait till Kim gets home. It's hilarious to me. <laughs> you can really see it bad from this angle over here. Alright, from this angle it looks crazy. It looks like it's leaning on the wall right here, but it's actually not. It's just literally crooked as I don't know what. Oh my goodness, it's hilarious. But anyway, this tree is a little bit or at least it looks like it's a little bit smaller, so maybe I can do it myself. If not, then I'll have to get Ken to help me, but let's see. Actually, probably be easier if I just left it. Uh, all in the twine and everything, like all wrapped up, put it in the stand and then fluff it up, right? Doesn't that make sense? Yes. Okay. This thing is kind of heavy. <laughs> 